Let's travel back. Well, let's save first. Let's travel back to the, the lake here. I wonder if I can hurt these stupid ass wisps. No effect on them. Aye. Shiza! I guess we'll just avoid them and blow the horn until I manage to find a weapon that will hurt them. Sometimes I wish I had my clue book. You're the ferryman Monica spoke of. Yes, it is I. You have blown the horn, the magic horn. We'll take you to the island as you wish. Take me to the island. Oh, Jesus. I'm gonna say, just in case. Of course I've been weakened, because I'm a dumbass and don't know how to cure weakness. I must reload once again. Son of a bitch! You know what, does this fucking dagger do anything? What the fuck is going on? After many tries, I have managed to make it out of there. Go to the hedge mage. Hedge maze. Hedge maze. Alright. Back into the hedge maze. We picked up many items here. Yes, we have a burning candle in that pouch. That's probably not a good idea, but who cares? Ceremonial dagger. It doesn't do shit for damage. Oh well. At least we're not weakened or old or anything like that. So I'm going to save and breathe the sigh of relief. And when the hell are we going to get a weapon that... What the fuck just hit me? That thing? <laughs> Topiary creep. What the? I don't even know what the hell that means. What does that mean? Plant creature? Jesus. So anyways, this is the hedge maze. Hedge maze. Here we must find six cloves of garlic. And make our way to the northeast section of the maze where we will find a mansion. Now, I'm going to go ahead and collect the garlic. This is a very long hedge maze. I'm not going to bore you with the intricacies of it quite yet. So we'll be back when I have something interesting to show you. Okay, folks, we're back. I had to run to the store and grab a brewski and a four loco and a cup of boiled peanuts. 
What is a four loco? Well, if they don't sell it in your area, that really fucking sucks for you. Four loco is basically a beer that's also an energy drink and also contains 12% alcohol. Anyways, this is the Hedge Mage. Hedge, god damn it, Hedge Maze. Maze. Uh, near completion. I do have six pieces of garlic clove, uh, which you will need for a garlic necklace. This is garlic clove here. Make sure you have six pieces of it. I have, uh, let's double check here. None in there. One in there. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, also in the northeast part right here, you see this little strip, you will find the Hedge Maze Mansion. Now once you actually walk up there, it will automatically be a part of your map, and you can warp there as such. So here we are at the Hedge Maze Mansion. There was no way I was about to bore you with that hedge maze. It took me probably a good, I don't know, 30 minutes of walking around. What's this? Am I seeing things? You there, how did you get here? I didn't think anyone could make it through the hedge maze. My little creatures should have cut you to pieces. And by the way, you do want uh, slashing weapons for the plant creatures. Bludgeoning weapons such as the mace do no damage. I'm surprised to see you as much as you are to see me, and I cannot believe that I made it through that shithole either. That maze is supposed to keep everything away from my house. My family decided long ago that it was a good idea to isolate ourselves from the rest of the valley. The hedge maze was designed to kill any of Khan's creations. Hmm, no matter. I'm Mishka, or Misha, the mad, as I sometimes fancy myself. And who, may I ask, are you? Ha! <laughs> I'm Ron Stock, baby. I'm the situation. No, please stay. You are free to go where you please. All I ask is you do not steal anything. I've got quite a few magical things around here. Magical, eh? Really, what kind of magical things do you have? Maybe you have something that will help me fight Karn. Karn, you plan to fight the Dark One? I once thought I'd do the same, but there is no such need for me to do such a foolish thing. I am safe here. Khan leaves me to myself. I grow my own food, have my own well. There's nothing else I could want except, uh, well, you know. But I don't want something in return. It's a holy symbol that glows when you are close to a vampire coffin. That's great, Misha. But I want to kill Khan. I don't really care where he sleeps. Why, of course you care where he sleeps. A vampire's coffin is his life. You can hurt him all you want, but if he makes it back to his coffin, he can heal himself. All vampires hide in their coffins well. The holy symbol will keep, will help you find that secret place. If it be anywhere in the stronghold of his. That's great, even if I can find Khan's coffin. How am I supposed to keep him from it? Ha! You've got me. You'll have to find a way to seal it or something. Let's not dilly-dally anymore. I can give you the holy symbol if you want, but I would ask for some tobacco in return. I'm all out of tobacco, and it's one of the only things I do miss dearly. What do you say? Trade me. Okay, fine. Ah, I thank thee, friend. It's been such a long time since I've enjoyed the pleasures of a pipe. Oh, and before I forget, this symbol, it is yours. I wish you the best of luck, my friend. All right, so we traded the tobacco for the cross. And we will take the stairs up here. Ah, oh, wrong way. Back up you go. That is a nice quilt you have there. It's kind of gay. Using the attic key to open the door, we ascend the stairs to the attic. And here we find the rapier. Why not have a rapier? It's a quick stabbing weapon for sure. Anything else up here? I do not think so. T 
Time to travel to the other village. It's time to take this bitch out of a trance. You must say, Andrea. Christiana, tell me about Andrea. Christine Volk. Andrea, my beloved Andrea. I love him more than life itself, but see now that I must go on even without him. If there's one last act of love I can offer him, 